All right, Jacob, thanks that storm tearing the roof off at least one home in Little Flock, leaving neighbors there in an unlivable home trying to figure out their next step. Five News anchor Tiffany Lee shows us how neighbors are coming together to help clean up. We're here on North 13th Street in Little Flock, where this right here is one of the homes that was hit the hardest during that tornado last night. We spoke with the owners who, of course, they're devastated. It's an emotional day. As you see, their house is completely destroyed. They didn't want to go on camera, but they did tell us that without friends, families and neighbors, they wouldn't be able to get through this. We just prayed and um, we started seeing all the houses that got destroyed. We, we got updates from people and that, so we just prayed for everyone else. Warner Alberts lives right down the road from one of the houses hit. You could kind of see that calm before the storm. There's no sound outside, no trees moving, um, nothing, you know, and then all of a sudden it was like, this loud noise come through the, the, the forest as the wind came through. He says it came quick. It was like in a flash that everything started getting white out, um, rain, you couldn't see anything outside. So I went in, inside at that point to tell the family, okay, get in the closet. Um, and just in those few moments that I turned around and looked outside again, the tornado had already come through our property and like stuff was blown all over the, over the yard. A feeling all too familiar for Warner and his family. We uh, survived the May tornadoes, took down a bunch of our trees and that um, luckily nothing fell on uh, the majority of the house. Um, we had one on, on the roof in the carport, um, our five week old carport that we installed. So it destroyed that. But um, all in all, I think we had about 20 trees, uh, 20 or 30 trees down. Um, and I still have trees down that I'm, that I'm working on. Warner tells us other than some debris, they were all good, but they were worried for those right down the road. People were uh, in a state of hoping that they were fine, that they survived everything, you know, um, making sure that there's nothing for us to do if we can help them. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a eerie feeling driving through here. I mean, we drove here yesterday, everything was fine, and the next morning nothing is standing anymore. Warner, along with other neighbors we spoke to, tell us that they're a close-knit community, and they help and pray for each other whenever needed. They plan to get through this together, again, not even six months later. In Little Flock, covering news where you live, Tiffany Lee, 5 News.